camo girl. Yeah, and grandma shoes. <laughs> camo girl and grandma shoes. <laughs> this, welcome to the adventures of camo girl and grandma shoes. <laughs> I like it. Okay, friends, full day of eating for ya. Yeah. Today will be a training day. As That's well. like that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so meal one. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Well, we just did our fasted cardio. We this had a cup of black coffee. Yes, we had a cup of black coffee. Now, um, my meal, half a cup of frozen berries, tablespoon of almond butter, and half a cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. And all of this is from Walmart. Kyle, a cup of egg whites, a full egg, and a tablespoon of this no sugar added ketchup. Yeah. And salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Bon appetit. Meal number one. Laundry basket in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, for me, this is going to be meal number two, and today it's going to be about two hours-ish before uh, we go to the gym and train. Um, this is why we, we always tell you guys everybody's different. I don't need a ton of carbohydrates to function to train pretty intense at the gym. I've got um, a half a cup of Quick Oats thrown in there. These are just the Great Value Walmart brand. I've got a half a cup of those frozen berries that Nicole showed you. I've got half a cup of this Greek yogurt, zero fat, extra protein in there, so that'll be tasty. Um, for flavor, I use the Jordan's uh, Skinny Syrups. Uh, this one is the one we have right now, salted caramel. I put a tablespoon of that on top, and I'm going to mix it all around before I eat it. I also have, to taste, I put in some cinnamon and just a little bit of this uh, no calorie sweetener. And that's meal number two, friends. Adventures of Camel Girl Part Two. Meal two, meal two, meal two. So my friends, we got two egg whites, one egg, and I seasoned it with this Southwest, Southwest, <laughs> Southwest Chipotle Mrs. Dash seasoning. And it's the um, salt free. And one slice of this ancient grains with quinoa from Dempster's bread. And there you go. Paying your belly now. Whoa, it looks good. Mmm, it is good. And the mustard. And the tuna. And the mustard. And the tuna. Hi. <laughs> okay, pre workout meal. Um, for Kyle, a can of tuna. <laughs> Read the French. <laughs> um, this is chunk light cold relief tuna in water with extra mustard and a tablespoon of the Hellman's Half the Fat Mayo with half a cup of baby carrots. For me, I have the same tuna, one can, um, with a tablespoon of the same mayo and some of that mustard and then the baby carrots as well. I am also going to have two white cheddar Quaker rice cakes. And then you're gonna pump it up. <laughs> the friends. Oh yeah. Gym time. Except, you gotta make a pit stop. A pit sup stop. You gotta go pick up the supplements that are on sale, the friends. Yep. So, what do you think of that, my dear Kylie? Well, we're gonna look for some BCAs. We're gonna look for some pre-workout, some pump stuff. We're gonna see what they got. We got our eye on a few things that were in the flyer. So, we'll show you what we pick up, and we're gonna show you how a G takes a pre-workout. Yeah, how a G takes a pre. <laughs> my friends, we got a few many things. Okay, look. So the workout pre-workout we wanted wasn't there, but this one, we were looking for a pump, which increases blood flow to your muscles and makes them feel really full. Um, and this one apparently, it's a pre-workout, but it has a lot of pump. So this is 
strawberry marshmallow candy. This is a brand new pre-workout from Magnum Nutraceuticals. So we're gonna try that one out today. And we bought all this stuff with our own money. So nothing, nothing is sponsored. So we're trying it out along with you guys. If we don't like it or it sucks, we'll tell you. And if we like it, we like it. Yep. And because we spent a certain amount, um, we got a free t-shirt. This is, uh, Kyle got a free shirt. We always switch when we, um, when we get free things if you spend a certain amount. So this time it was Kyle's turn. So we got that. And then we got some new BCAAs because we're getting low. This one we've had before. It's all max amino core and we um, really like the blue raspberry flavor. So we got this one. And then this brand's Revolution, they um, have really good like candy flavored BCAAs and these are two new flavors that we got today. This one is Sour Cherry Blast. So basically those like Cherry Blaster candies, it's supposed to like mimic that. Um, so we got that one. And then this one is supposed to mimic like Blue Shark Gummies and it's called Blue Sharks. So we're excited to try those out. <laughs> oh yeah. And we'll tell you how we drink a workout, silly goose. And we will let you guys know how it works after our workout because this is a pump pre-workout. So um, we'll let you know the results. We're gonna train arms today. We'll let you know if it works or not. Yeah, there you go, marshmallow fluffs. Yeah. Unveil it. It's a cool flavor. I've never heard of this flavor in a supplement before. No. It's really tough. <laughs> we might not be taking the pump today. Uh, nope, maybe. <laughs> Punch it. Uh, yeah, teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells exactly like the strawberry marshmallows. Oh yeah, do you, you, Kyle's not a candy friend. Do you, have you ever eaten the strawberry no, marshmallows? No, no. Take a smell. Oh yeah, it it's, smells like Frankenberry. It smells exactly like the strawberry marshmallows. Okay, so the friends. Usually you have to take a lot of water with a pre-workout and we already drink a lot. So to avoid peeing all night long in our sleep, <laughs> we take it like this. Sometimes it also, it hits you faster and we like to just go when we want to go, so. So you get your water. Now we're not recommending that you try this at home. This is what no. we do. You should probably put it in a container And with if water. you've never taken <laughs> pre-workout before or pump before, definitely don't do this. No. That's how a G takes a pre. <laughs> <laughs> you swish it and you swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Sour? Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Whoa, that one, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. All right, friends. Pray for me. Whoa, it's busy. Yeah, and it like coats your tongue with the with coatness. <laughs> I'm tangling already. It tastes exactly like strawberry marshmallows in the aftertaste though. Taste is one thing, what we're more about how effective is it. Yeah, so we'll tell you guys. We just eat the pre workout. We we'll tell you guys how it feels. How it worked. So it mixes good in your mouth. Yeah, it does. It's yeah, it's not chunky or clumpy or anything. It really does mix well. Mmm. Good. Can't feel my tongue. <laughs> All right. So, friends. One scoop we took. We let it kick in for a bit. There was no kick in. We didn't feel anything. Um, so, we're going to two scoop it and tell you the results. And the girl did say at the store, the friends, that it, we might have to take two scoops. But we always try one first because you never know how your body's going to react to it. Shake it up, buttercup. <laughs> yeah. Tingly. So, 
One thing about this Magnum, what's it called? Magnum Pre. Magnum Ma Pre 4. Magnum Pre 4. You need more than one for us. For us. For you, if you haven't done one a pre workout yet, you might want to just try one scoop first. And there's only 100 mil milliliters of. What is milligrams. it? Hundred milligrams. Sorry. of caffeine. Hundred milligrams of caffeine, which is not much. I mean, we probably get that. You guys probably get that more in a cup, a big cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. Workout time. I mean our post workout shakes and we didn't even need to put we didn't even need to put them in the freezer because it's so cold out They almost froze in here. So I have two scoops of whey isolate protein um, In here, it's like chocolate brownie from my protein. Yeah, and I have a cup of egg whites and five ice cubes of mine and mine is one cup of cashew milk unsweetened one scoop of the brownie protein from my protein and like three ice cubes let's tell them about the pump okay it was amazing so we figured that it would start kicking in um, once we started working out my biceps literally felt like they were gonna burst through my skin it was amazing so if you guys want a good pre like a pump it that's the one that's good that's a good one it's good stuff um, that one kind of it kind of snuck up on us um, in a good way like two scoops definitely for me and Nicole was perfect if you're just starting like we said maybe do one but two scoops um, it was like a fire burn full feeling in our arms and uh, really good stuff quality stuff I'll be using that again and I, I really like it yep me yeah. too you want to be a chicken you want to eat chicken <laughs> go got it. this now, we're eating this post-workout, friends, but usually um, we eat this before. But um, it's Sunday, and usually Sundays our meals are a little off because we sleep in. Yeah, we're a bit human on Sunday. Yeah. So this is the meal we're eating now. Uh, four s slices of this budding chicken breast. Half a cucumber with some pink Himalayan salt. And... A baby dill pickle. We both have the same thing and it makes our belly happy. Bon appetit! The bomb not come with the bomb not come. my warm clothes. Got a little chilly. This will help warm us up too. Yep, look at this. Dinner. So, the friends, this is what we're having. Uh, we made soup with our beef that we're having for dinner. Uh, Kyle has four ounces of beef. I have three ounces. And then we used this no salt chicken broth. We each have two cups. We have two cups of this baby spinach. Um, we each have a little bit of this Himalayan pink salt, some normal ground black pepper, some Frank's Red Hot, and the original blend, Mrs. Dash. Yeah. That's it, they eat your soup and, and warm it up. <laughs> <laughs> you want a snack? You already ate, silly goose. Sit on my foot though, that's good. And keeping it warm. Yeah, right? Yeah. Keeping your foot warm, Dad. It's the last meal of the day. Yes. This is it. Half a cup of 1% cottage cheese. One tablespoon of all natural crunchy peanut butter. And we both have the same thing. 
So maybe we should just give because we do we are getting a ton of new friends to our channel and we thank you for the subscriptions to our channel. Thank you. <clears throat> Why do we eat cottage cheese before bed with fat? Um, okay, so um, for those that are building muscle and also just for anyone, um, you want to eat a slow digesting protein with fat um, before you go to bed because it keeps your muscles in what's called an anabolic state, meaning growing and repairing themselves. Not decaying and eating themselves. Right, and so if you're not fueling yourself with something that s digests slowly in your system, your muscles go into something called a catabolic stage, which means what Kyle said, they're not growing, they're decaying. You're losing. You're losing um, your muscle. And you don't want, and even if you're not trying to build muscle, you, you don't. You still want to keep what muscle you have. Yeah, you don't want to be in the state of losing muscle. And why cottage cheese is because it's one of the best natural sources of casein protein. Yes. Casein protein is a slow digesting protein. And I mean, you can also eat, if you don't like cottage cheese, you can also have something like a hard boiled egg or deli slices. Um, but in if terms of the casein, best, the yeah. best, cottage cheese is the best. People always ask us for, this is another topic we get, substitutions. Yes. There is no such thing as substitutions for real food. There is alternative choices. You yeah. always have choices. Yeah, like the meat, the deli as meat, or the egg. As far as getting a substitute for cottage cheese, there is no substitute. No. It's unique there, in what it offers you. There is a casein protein powder, but it's not really, um, in our opinion, it's not the same thing. Protein you want powders real are... food. You don't want that's a supplement. You want actual food when you can get it. And when we're you can have we're it. gonna do a full guide to supplements very soon. Yes, so. we so stay tuned for that. Um, so you want to eat protein and fat before you go to bed. Not only does it keep you full, it di um, digests slowly and fuels you throughout your sleep because you are sleeping. You know, hopefully for eight hours. And that's a long time to go without food. So this fuels you and keeps your muscle while you're sleeping. And why the healthy fat? Because healthy fat slows down digestion even more of the yes. protein. Yes. And it, again, it also gives, keeps you full and fuels you. And healthy fat, along with the good protein, contain a lot of vitamins and minerals that are really good and healthy for your body too. So, the friends, we hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like around if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. Because if you don't, uh -oh. you're gonna get this dog flipper of doom. Pretty mean, isn't it? Thank yeah, he's barking at you. Like, you know. I, th I think we're getting loopy. It's a bit late. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it, friends. It has 40 family-friendly recipes. Not only is there a two-week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there.